I got to tell you something, something funny about that guy. <laughs> I think it was uh, we had we had just won the second Super Bowl, and so he was having uh, there was an event in the city, and it was a, a black tie event. Like you had to be dressed to get in. So obviously, you know, I came. I was I was well prepared. I was dressed, but I had a friend with me, and um, he had on jean shorts and some sneakers. And you know, I guess that's just what people from Alabama do. I don't know, but this is what he had on. So we get to the door, and they refused to let us in because obviously my friend wasn't dressed appropriately, but I wasn't going to go in without him. So I'm standing out there, and I think word got to Mr. Tish that one of his players was outside. And so Mr. Tish comes to the door, and the manager proceeds to explain to him why he's not going to let my friend in. So Mr. Tish sat there and patiently listened to him, and then at the end of it, he said, okay, this is what's going to happen here. You're either going to let this guy in, or I'm going to buy this place, and I'm going to turn it into a parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so they let us in, and <laughs> as I'm walking in, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, did this guy just tell this man that they were going to turn his place into a parking lot. So you see, as a player, you think you're the man, you think you're high and mighty, and then you really see what high and mighty really is. And, <laughs> uh, and from that day on, I said to myself, you know what? I, that's who I want to be when I grow up, man. I want to be Mr. Tish.